Hey, Miss AJ, thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So today I'm doing a tutorial of how to use the public investing app. For those who don't know, public is a free trading app which allows you to invest in fractional shares called slices. So let's get started on how to use the investment app. So let's go ahead and open the public investing app. Once you've already set up your account, using my referral link, of course, I'm going to open a public app and that'll take you to the home page. I'm using the Android version, so there may be slight differences for you, but essentially the same user experience you should have with an iPhone or an iOS device. From the home page, which is the first page that opens up when you open the app, on this page you can see your current stock holdings as well as any stocks on your watch list. As you can see where it says portfolio here, I have JPM in this specific app, but you can also view your watch list, which I have Beyond Meat, Nike, and Mercado Libre. And as you scroll down through the app, you can also see the latest news related to either stocks that you're holding or stocks that you have on your watch list. So of course, this first news article that pops up, it relates to JP Morgan, and then we have some other JP Morgan related news. And so in the next section, you see top movers and you can see which stocks have had the largest gains over today's trading period. And you can also share those options. And I'll talk more about the social part of this investing app later. And you can continue to view more of the news related to the stocks that you're either holding or that you that you have on your watch list. As you move further down, you'll see people to follow. Um, Shaq O'Neal, we don't know if that's the real Shaq or just someone using Shaq's name, but there are other people that you can follow within the public investing app. This is why it's also kind of a social media type application because you can follow people and you can see what they're trading, what they're not trading, and they can follow you as well. And so these are random people that they're suggesting that I follow. And so we'll just scroll all the way down. You'll see that there's just, you know, a lot of different news articles going back to March and probably even later. But at the bottom right where you see the dollar symbol, this is where you could go if you wanted to make a deposit. You can make a deposit directly from there in any amount that you choose. And below the dollar symbol, you see that there is a row of icons at the bottom. At the far left, that is the home button that we've already used. But the next button that we're going to click on or the next icon is the magnifying glass. And this is where you can click to explore or research different companies or people that use the public investing app to see what they're investing in. So in the search bar, you can type in either the name of a company, the ticker symbol for the company, if you already know it, or you can search a particular person's name. But before we search for anything specific, we're going to first take a look at the section for themes to explore. And so themes within the public investing app, these are a list of stocks or ETFs that relate to a specific theme. So for instance, the first one you see is funds for everyone. That is a list of ETFs that are popular or trending at the moment. Uh, you also see a theme for fighting disease, click it, ship it, are you not entertained, num num now, which is for delivering food and many other themes that are available within the app. So first, we're going to start with the green power theme. And within this theme, you'll see different stocks related to green power. And we'll also take a look at the description of what this green power theme relates to. So as you can see from here, renewable energy sources are those that can be used again and again. I'm not going to read this to you because you can read it yourself while you're watching this video. But essentially, anything dealing with solar, wind, geothermal, or hydropower energy whether it's a utility or it's a car company or it's a battery manufacturer, anything that relates to renewable energy, you can find some of those companies listed within this theme. So we're going to go back, click the back button at the bottom right, and we're going to look at the actual stocks listed here. So at the very top, you see Tesla. It's currently in order based on the percentage gain today, but I normally like to look at it as far as the top market cap companies and I start from there. So if you click, it's very faint, but if you can see these three lines, 
to the right of where it says featured stocks. If you click there, you can either sort by the daily change, meaning which stocks have gained the most on today's trading day or which one has the highest price per share. You can also sort by the market cap. So which company is the most valuable as far as the value of the, the total company based on their stock price. And you can also sort A through Z just by alphabetical order. Now, as I mentioned, these are not all of the stocks that relate to green power or renewable energy. These are just stocks that they have decided to include within the theme for this specific theme. So I'm going to look at the top market cap. That's the way I like to sort. And we see the top two stocks are Next Extra Energy and Tesla. Now, most of you have probably never heard of Next Era Energy, but you have heard of Tesla. Tesla's definitely more popular. But as you can see, popularity doesn't always mean that one company is more valuable in totality than another. Next Era Energy has probably been a company for a very long time. Tesla has only been a company for maybe about 10 or 15 years at the most. And so let's take a look at Next Era Energy. And this happens to be a company that I'm familiar with. Um, while I was doing my own research, I found out that Next Era Energy is also the owner of FPL, which is Florida Power and Light. It's a utility for electricity in the state of Florida. And so, yes, if you live in Florida and you pay FPL, you are helping Next Era Energy and their stock price by continuing to pay your bills. And if you are an owner of Next Era Energy, as you know, just part of the company, it's not all of the company is related to FPL. They also do other things as well. But because of FPL, that is one steady income that Next Era Energy has. And so once you click on a specific stock, you can then look at the daily performance. We can look at the stock price that's at the top right below the name. You can see what was the gain or the loss for that day. And then you can also in the chart below, you can click on, you can view the week return one month all the way up to a five year chart of how this company has performed. And so over the past five years, Next Era Energy has gone up 157%. That's about a 30% average gain over the last five years. And this is including the most recent stock market drop. So it's probably closer to 180 to maybe maybe 200% because there was that big drop. But it has gotten back some of the gains from the current stock market crash. But even with that big drop, it's still up 157% over the course of five years. And if you keep scrolling down below, you can discover more about the company. You can read their about. And as I mentioned previously, part of their business is FPL, but they also sell clean energy related to solar, wind, and other renewable sources. And the company is headquartered in Juneau Beach, Florida. And so as you continue to scroll down, you can look at what Wall Street thinks about this specific company. And they have a rating system that ranks from a one to a five, with one being a strong buy and five being a strong sell. And so you can look at the rating of each individual company that you look at. Next Era Energy has a 1.8. So this is a really good buy or Wall Street is suggesting that this is a good buy based on their analysis. And if you slide over, you can also see price targets. So when analysts are talking about whether or not a stock is an individual buy or not, they'll also say this is the price target that they're going for within the next three, six or 12 months. And out of all of the analysts that are taking a look at Next Air Energy, their average price target is $261. And you see that the current price is $236. So if you were to get in now and if you were to believe that the analysts who are watching this specific stock know what they're talking about, then you know that there's about a $25 gain that you could get within the next 6 to 12 months by holding onto the stock at its current price level. Now, on the low end, someone believes that it could go down to $100. And at the high end, someone believes that it could go up to as high as $300. Now, in addition to this, if you keep scrolling down, you can see the different events that are coming up or that, or that happened in the past. And so their previous Q4 earnings was on January 24th, and their Q1 earnings is coming up on April 22nd. 
as you continue to scroll, you can see news about this specific company, latest news from today, yesterday, and you can see if you go to view all, you can see a lot more news. It doesn't go back as far with this specific company, but that's what's available here. I'm going to go click back. And then in the theme section, you'll see if a company happens to be a part of more than one theme, then it will list all of the themes that that specific company is a part of. And so you see that Next Era Energy is only part of one theme that the public investing app has created within their app. And as you continue to scroll down, you can look at earnings. If you see the darker blue bar, that blue bar represents what the analysts expected the company to earn based on their expectations. And then the brighter blue bar is what the actual earnings were once they announced it. And so as you can see in Q3 of 2019, they were actually below expectation with their earnings, but in Q4, they were above the expectation for their earnings. And so since their earnings have not happened yet for Q1 of 2020, that bar is not there to show the actual earnings that will come up on April 22nd, as I mentioned. So as you continue to scroll down, you can look at more stats about the company. So you see the, the full market cap, as we showed before we clicked on this company, it's $110 billion. Uh, the volume of trading each day, the dividend that they pay, which is currently slightly above 2%, their dividend rate, which is $5. Now with some apps, they'll show the dividend rate of how much the company actually pays in their dividend for every quarter. But I have noticed that in the public investing app, the dividend rate that they list is for the whole year. So what you would actually get paid every quarter would actually be $1.25 not $5 per quarter. And this company pays their dividend every quarter. So that's it as far as information with this specific company. But you see the blue circle at the bottom right, which has the arrow to the left and the right. This is what you would click on if you're going to decide to buy or sell. Since I don't own this particular stock, the only option that pops up is to buy. So we're going to click on buy. And then from here, if you want to invest in Next Era Energy, because this is one of the stocks where you can buy fractional shares, you will see the option where you can pick a specific dollar amount and you can choose one of the options that they already have listed, or you can click on a different amount and then you can type in how much you actually want to invest. So you'll need at least $5 in order to buy any stock that is available to buy fractional shares. And not all stocks are actually available for you to purchase via fractional shares. And so if you don't want to buy fractional shares, you can actually go back click buy again and you see the option at the very bottom that says buy full shares and on this page you can type in how many shares you want to buy you can click on market order that will allow you to change the type of order that you want to make so a market order is when you're buying at the best available market price so no matter what the fluctuation is once you click the buy button it's going to buy it at the best possible that they can make your order execute now you can also choose to do a limit order with a limit order. You can pick a specific price point that you want to buy it at. So like, as you can see, the price of NEE is currently $236 and 48 cents. So if you wanted to buy it at $235, let's say, then you could put in an order for 235 and, and pick the number of shares that you want to buy. But until the price actually drops down to $235, you wouldn't actually buy any stock. And then you also have a stop order, which is when you also pick a specific price point. But the difference between a limit order and a stop order is that once it reaches the price that you choose, let's say $235, it will automatically buy no matter what the price is. So let's say it drops down to $235, but there aren't enough orders in order for you to actually sell or it doesn't stay there long enough for your order to execute then no matter what happens with the stock price, whether it goes up or whether it goes down, you are basically putting in a market order at the time that it reaches your stop order price. Versus with a limit order, you're only gonna buy if it's at $235, nothing more. But it could execute at a price lower than 235. So that limit is just saying, that is the maximum that I am willing to pay is $235. So now let's go back. And now we're going to go look at Tesla, which was the second largest company within this specific theme. 
And as you can see here, same information. You can see the price of the stock. You can see the performance. You can look at past performance. It's up 35% in the past week. It's only up 16% over the past month. And over a five-year period, it is up 208%. And as you can see, there was a big increase in the price. If you actually scroll your finger across, you can look at specific dates over this time period. And you can see that at its high point, Looks like the high point was the 19th of February, where it actually went over $900 that day. And so, of course, you can read more about Tesla and what it does. Most people know Tesla as a car company, but they don't only just sell cars. They also have supercharger stations where you can charge your electric vehicles. And it's not only for Teslas. It's any vehicle that can use the specific supercharger plug that they have. They also create self-driving software for their vehicles, and I believe they also provide it for other manufacturers as well. And then other parts of their business, they actually do solar power, energy generation, and storage. And you can read those details here. Just pause if you want to read the whole thing. And as you continue to scroll down, if you happen to be following anybody on the platform, you can see who else that you follow who actually owns this stock. And so the person that I'm following, this is actually one of the creators of the public investing app or one of the co-founders, I should say. And so I'm following him and you can see that he is also following the Tesla stock within his public investing app. So now let's go back. And you can also see Tesla owns Solar City. Now this doesn't show up for every company that owns other businesses, but Solar City was a company that was actually publicly traded, I believe just a year or two ago. And so, you know, they're they're letting you know that this is another business that they own. Solar City does more residential uh, solar projects or provides solar panels for homes and things of that nature. So again, you can scroll through all of the information, Wall Street ratings, events, news, etc. But what I really wanted to show you is a company that has more than one theme. And so because Tesla does so many things and Tesla is a very popular stock, they're included in multiple themes. This specific theme that we're already looking at, which is the green power theme. You also have combat carbon companies that are trying to reduce their carbon footprint. You have rise of the machines. This is related to artificial intelligence and automation. And then you have the theme for self-driving cars, which they are also a part of because they make software for self-driving cars. And so that's one thing that's really cool, especially for companies that you may have heard of, but maybe you don't know everything that they do. They may be part of multiple themes. And so then you can check out other companies that are a part of those themes as well. And so if you're really a, a socially conscious investor, this can really help you with finding companies that follow the themes that are very important to you as well. And so if you wanted to add this specific company to your watch list, at the very top right, you can see that there's a star. If you click on that star, once it is filled in, then you know that you're following that company. And then you can also look at your homepage if you go back there. And now Tesla is included on my watch list. Now going back to the research page, it'll take me back to where I was with the Tesla stock. And now let's go take a look at, at the ETFs that are included within this green power theme. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that these are all the companies that are included. So some of these you may or may not have heard of, but we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. So if you wanted to invest in ETFs, ETFs being exchange traded funds, they have three ETFs that relate to green power. And so you have the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF, the Guggenheim Solar ETF, and the First Trust NASDAQ Clean Edge Green. We're going to look at the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. Once you click on it, you see all the information that you would see as we showed with the other stocks. But one thing I wanted to show you is that not all stocks and not all ETFs give you the ability to actually buy fractional shares. So if you were to click on trade and you wanted to buy, you'll see that you don't have the option to pick a specific dollar amount that you want to spend. And you don't see that option for choose how many shares at the bottom. So it automatically takes you to the page where you can put in a market order or choose your limit order or stop order. And with fractional shares, or at least the stocks that are available for fractional shares, those are all market orders. You can't do a limit order and you can't do a stop order 
when you are buying slices, which is what public calls their fractional share investing. And so that's just one example. And if we look at the description of this specific ETF, you see that it seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of global equities in the clean energy sector. And this specific ETF is made by BlackRock. And as you can see, the same guy, Peter Quinn, who is a co-founder of the app, he follows that as well. So clean energy is something that's probably very important to him. So we go back. And now we're going to take a look at a different theme just so you can see uh, different themes that are available. So again, green power, women in charge, uh, meatless revolution, reuse and reduce, that's recycle. Shout out to Cap and Planet. We have a cannabis theme, lost in the clouds for software as a service companies. And we're going to take a look at the rise of the machines. And again, you can click right below the name of this theme and you can get more of a definition of what this theme is about. Pause if you want to take a look at that. Then we can go back. And now we can look at the stocks that are featured within this specific theme. So as you can see, based on the theme of Rise of the Machines, these are the stocks that are included. And again, I have it sorted by market cap, but you can choose what you prefer. And you see that Amazon, Google, Facebook, Intel, IBM, these are all companies that you've probably heard of. But let's look at one company that maybe you haven't heard of. And we're going to take a look at the lowest market cap company in this list, and that is Exobionics. So Exo is a smaller company within this specific theme, and you can look at the about to see what they actually make. And so I thought this was pretty cool. This company actually makes exoskeleton technology. And so it would be basically a technology that is linked to your body. So that way, if you let's say you needed to lift something that's really heavy, maybe you can only lift two or 300 pounds or whatever the case may be. The exoskeleton that's linked to you would allow you to be able to pick up either more weight or pick up that same weight more efficiently. So you're not actually injuring yourself or you don't have to worry about being in a bad posture and causing injuries to yourself. And that's just one example of how the exoskeleton technology could be used. Uh, there are uses within healthcare, the industrials market, manufacturing, and many other things. So I thought that was pretty cool as I was scrolling through and clicking on some of the companies that I hadn't heard of before. And you see that this company is a strong buy, according to the analyst, and it has a price target of $25. So if you do believe what the Wall Street analysts think about this specific company, then you have the potential to greatly increase your money with this individual stock. But one thing as far as this specific company and why I wanted to use this as an example is that when you do try to buy, you can't buy fractional shares. And it's not a huge issue because, you know, this company is their stock is only three dollars at the moment. And most people would be able to buy multiple shares of this stock at its current price. But if you had a larger company like an Amazon, and we'll go back to the beginning to look at that, Amazon is a $2,000 per share stock. And so, you know, not everybody can buy a full share of Amazon, or at least not on a regular basis. It may take you some time to save money, especially if you're just starting to invest and you don't have a lot of money to invest. But the great thing about Amazon, with it being a very popular stock and a stock that's heavily traded, when you click on the buy option, you do have that option to invest with fractional shares. And so you can buy as little as $5 worth of Amazon. And then whatever that is percentage wise, you'll get that 0.001 or point whatever shares of Amazon with your $5. Or if you have $100, you can do that. Whatever amount you choose, anything over $5, you can get in Amazon today. And you don't have to invest in a stock like EXO, which you may not know as much about, or you may not take the time to actually research it to see whether they're a profitable company or not. Most of us know what Amazon is. We have a pretty good idea of how their future is gonna be from a general standpoint. So if we go back, we're gonna also take a look at an ETF. Now, since the last ETF, you didn't have the option to buy fractional shares, I'm gonna show you an ETF that does have that option now. And we're going to take a look at the BOTS ETF. Now, the BOTS ETF is the Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF. And so this ETF consists of multiple companies dealing with robotics or artificial intelligence. 
things dealing with automation, whether it's automation of software or manufacturing, robots, autonomous vehicles. It has a big list of companies that are included within this ETF. And so if you didn't know which specific company you want to invest in, but you know that you do want to invest in the future of artificial intelligence, then this would be an ETF that you could purchase and just buy all of the artificial intelligence related stocks. And like I said, with this specific ETF, if you click the blue circle and then you click buy, you do have the option to buy fractional shares. But if you wanted to buy a full share, you can. You just click on buy full shares and then you can type in the amount of shares you want to buy and then type in and click on the type of order that you would like to make with this specific ETF. And so my favorite fund, and we're going to go back to the list of themes or my favorite theme, I should say, for people who are just getting started with investing is the funds for everyone. And that's because this is a list of ETFs, again, exchange traded funds, and essentially with ETFs. You're investing in multiple companies. You're not picking one company that you think is going to have the best earnings over a long period of time. Most beginners don't have the time or the knowledge to pick individual stocks. And so instead of trying to pick individual winners, you can just pick all of the stocks in the economy or all of the stocks in a specific sector or all of the stocks in a particular theme that are available via an ETF. And so if you look at this, this specific theme is just a collection of ETFs. It is not a holistic collection of all the ETFs that you can purchase within the public investing app. So this is just an example based on popularity of that ETF or based on recent price performance if it is something that is trading at a high volume at the moment. So if we go back, we can see the list. There are actually 41 ETFs on this list. We're going to order it by largest market cap. And you can scroll through and see all of the different ETFs that are available within this specific theme. And if you guys have seen any of my videos in the past, you know that I'm a fan of Vanguard ETFs. And specifically these two ETFs, the S&P 500 ETF and the total stock market ETF. So we're going to take a look at VOO, the S&P 500 ETF. And you'd see that it's currently at $253 per share. And because this is a very popular ETF, you can buy fractional shares. And if any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that once a month, I post a portfolio that I created for the Mobile Money Nation, where there are actually four ETFs that I invest in on a monthly basis automatically. And so this is one of the ETFs. The other is VTI. And then there are also two others, the Vanguard Total International Stock Market ETF and the Vanguard Total Bond ETF. And so this is just a short list in this funds for everyone, this specific theme, and you can see multiple different types of ETFs from different ETF providers, not just Vanguard. Now, the thing that I don't really like about the public investing app is the fact that when you're looking at the details about a specific ETF, you can see the dividend rate, you can see the dividend yield, but you can't see the expense ratio. It is essentially what you're paying for people to manage that ETF or that mutual fund. And that expense ratio can range from 0%, which there are very few that are at 0%, but it can go up to as high as 3% as what I've seen in the past. And all of the four ETFs that I invest in via the Mobile Money Nation Roth IRA that I created are all between 0.03% and 0.08% at the highest. And so that's another reason I invest in Vanguard ETFs specifically because they typically have some of the lowest expense ratios of ETFs on the market. And so unfortunately, within the public investing app, you aren't able to see the expense ratio in this area. And so that's something I would like the public investing people to add to this information in the stats area. And so hopefully that's something that they'll add in the future. But there are so many great things about this, especially with free trading. As you guys could see, there was no mention of any fees if I wanted to invest $5, I could do it, and there's no fee once I click on invest. If I wanted to invest $5, that's all I'm paying is the $5. If I want to invest $1,000, that's all I'm paying. There is no extra fee when you make trades on this app. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you cannot do limit orders or stop orders when you do buy fractional shares. But if you wanted to buy a full share, then you can better control the specific price point that you want to get into a specific stock. And one other feature that I wish they would add as well 
is the option to automate your deposits or even automate your purchases. There aren't many apps that allow you to automate your purchases, but most investment apps or companies, they do allow you to automate deposits. And so I do think that's probably a feature that they're going to have in the future. That way, every time you get paid or on any specific schedule that you want to set, whether it's a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis, you can automatically deposit money into your account. That way, if you want to buy stock on a regular basis, you don't have to go into the app and choose to make a deposit every time that you want to add money. And so last but not least, um, at the bottom, you do see the third icon, which is looks like a gift box. If you click on that on this page, you will see that they do have a referral program. So if you were to use the link in my description, as well as the link I'm going to leave in the comment section, if you do click on my link and you open an account with the public investing app, you will receive a free slice of stock and that stock will be valued up to $50. That is the promotion that they have at the time, but it may change in the future. And from what you could see at the beginning of my video that I had JP Morgan stock in my portfolio, that JP Morgan stock that I hold is specifically from free slices that I receive from people like you that have used my referral link. So I really appreciate those who have already used my referral link. And I would greatly appreciate if you found any value in this video and you do decide to open a public investing app, that you use my referral link as well. So thanks for watching this video. I really hope that you found some value and you're able to navigate this app just a little bit better by watching this tutorial. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.